go right now with our co-main event of the evening. Brought to you by blackchippoker.eu. Thanks for what you do for XMMA. And now, this bout is set for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA featherweight division. When the action starts inside the cage, our referee, Mr. Russ Greenberg. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 6 and weighing 146.2 pounds. Tonight, he brings to the cage a professional record of 10 wins and 6 defeats. Representing Boss Rutten Elite MMA and fighting out of Thousand Oaks, California, please welcome Ryan the Lion Lily. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. Standing 5 feet 8 and weighing in 139.8 pounds. Tonight, he brings to the cage a professional record, 11 wins and 7 defeats. Representing All In MMA and CSO Academy, fighting out of Buena Park, California, please welcome Francisco Cisco Rivera. Did we just hear a bell? Oh, yeah, little, I think it was a little, a little premature. Hey, my commands at all times. A premature e bell elation. Happens sometimes. Fight. Yeah. Good luck. It's Catch not his fault. Got to think about baseball. Now, Francisco does live in my, my neighborhood. I, I see him all around Orange County. And I'll tell you what, Ryan Lilly has a, a couple gladiator challenge belts, which I do as well. So is it maybe he's right tough. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know Ryan Lilly, Francisco Rivera Jr. This is a, a catch weight bout that Lilly did miss weight on. They normally fight at 135. Now they're, you know, fighting at 140 and 145. So basically a featherweight bout. A little bit slower pace than our last fight. Yeah, a little surprising. Especially considering these are smaller guys. They're usually a little faster pace. There it's picking up. Rivera touching him already. And like we said, this is a step up of competition. Although Ryan Lilly's competed in LFA and Bellator had wins there, had that great head kick knockout in Bellator. But Cisco is, is, a, is a tough guy. And if you can have a good showing against him, that really says something. Oh, absolutely. You guys fought at the top level for, I think, his last 10 fights. More than that, even, probably. That's 10 years. <laughs> but hey, he hasn't fought in four years, so that might be the same. Exactly. Man, powerful right hand there from Cisco. And these guys are just so fast with, with every punch and throwing every kick. And Cisco really controlling the cage, dictating where the fight goes. He's backing up Lily. Now, again, it's only a minute into the fight, so things can change. He's backing him up, but at the same time, he's just kind of right in front of him and just waiting, waiting to counter, looks like. Let's go. This looks so relaxed out there. Everything being thrown, it's not bothering him at all. He's blocking. He's doing the bare minimum like he should. Cisco really, really coming forward, looking to deliver some damage and walk through those shots or just keep tight and block them all. Now the question is, can Ryan Lilly have 15 minutes of high output with only a couple weeks of training? Now he was training before, he said, but obviously it wasn't a real fight camp. Yeah. Oh, big right hand. And and the way he's fighting, I mean, it looks like he's using a little bit more energy than it looks like. Uh, Who is? Two, uh, Ryan Lilly. Those are two calf kicks in a row. Lilly did not like that, I'll tell you that right now. He felt those 100%. Just look how relaxed right now, Francisco. He's just very calm. I mean, he just has that demeanor. Just, huh. it's he's not afraid. He's gonna come in. He's gonna get it done in his mind. I mean, that's just that that veteran, that that wily yeah. veteran experience he has. He doesn't waste any energy. He's like, I'm this old. I, I train for a reason. I don't want to waste any of my energy. Another good low kick. Another good low kick. Oh, he touched him. Lily did touch him with those hands. He threw six punches in a row or so. But yeah, right hand there from Cisco. You saw that coming. Oh, these guys are traded shots now. Another fight delivering some damage here at great shots here at XMMA. And we see a single leg attempt for Ryan Lilly. Is he going to get it, or can Francisco defend? Great, great balance displayed right there by Francisco. Now how much how much energy I take out of Ryan Lilly? Exactly. That, you know, those, that trade and punches and then that takedown attempt. So might have taken some gas out of Oh, he's that clipped him right there. He's hurt. Now Lilly needs to get those hands up right now. Yeah. Hands are low. He took that shot. He needs to really, really cover up and try to get his senses back. 
You see, he takes a deep breath right there. Yep. Still two minutes to go in this first round, and Cisco is, is starting to really close in on him. Yeah, his, his punches are just pinpoint right now. They're very accurate. Our Francisco's. Anthony is cornering. Lily asking for, for some jabs and asking to, to touch Cisco a little bit and, and use the distance instead of just trading with him, which is not working so far. Uh, well, couldn't agree more. He needs to come up with a little bit different strategy and he, right and, now. And he, Lily's starting to get tired. He's breathing hard. Well, like I said, his opponent, Francisco, he's just stalking him down and staying right in front of him, staying in front of his hips. And nothing makes you more tired than that pressure, does it, Chris? Oh, that is the worst thing in the world. You know what pressure does? It makes diamonds, baby. Yes! <laughs> Again, asking it. Lily to put his hands up as he takes some body shots there from Cisco. Mean rips to the body and a right hand. This could be it. That's, it. That's gotta be it. I'd like to see the replay on that exactly what what caused that knockdown. Uh, you know, I'm confused if it was either some of the body shots or he got touched into the, in the ear. It might have been like in the ear, the top yeah, that, of the jaw. Yeah, that's why I'd like to see the replay. Couldn't see exactly what happened. He was nailed into the body, but he kind of fell forward in a funny way. Another finish here at XMMA. Okay, here we got Let's the, see Francisco. Okay, there's, oh, good body shot being delivered. There's two, three. He's coming forward right now. And this right hand in the kinda ear. Kind of hit him kind of on the top of the head right there, the ear maybe. Sometimes those ear shots, you lose all your equilibrium, you go down instantly. Yeah, he was already coming forward, and that was uh, just the finishing blow right there. All right, these fighters are uh, going to shake and hug in the middle of the ring. You know, no animosity, like I said. Francisco Rivera able to finish Ryan Lilly here in the co-main event in the first round. Ryan Lilly not able to answer the call here to the step up in competition. But he didn't look bad. Again, he took this fight on two weeks' notice, so definitely hard to keep that pace going against a veteran. And, you know, one of the top guys in the sport, really, in his time. And his time might still be going, says Francisco Rivera. He's looking good over there. Well, once again, we do not need our judges to tabulate anything because we have a finish. And Francisco, with the backflip to boot, let's throw it into the ring to our announcer, Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Russ Greenberg, goes a halt to the bout at 403 of round number one. Declaring your winner by TKO, Francisco, Cisco Rivera.